A top environmentalist scientist rather calling on relevant stakeholders to strengthen the country's resilience as a defense to the growing threat of climate change. Her comments came just days after Moody's International Credit Agency released its report showing that the Bahamas is among several nations forecasted to be impacted by a rise in sea levels related to global warming. Environmentalist scientist Kelly Armstrong on the issue. So two widely accepted responses to climate change in terms of action is mitigation and adaptation. And when we speak about mitigation, we mean increasing a sink of fossil fuel emissions or decreasing a source. So increasing a sink, for an example, would be to um, protect our forests, which use carbon dioxide emissions to make oxygen that we breathe. Another uh, avenue of mitigation would be to um, get uh, energy source, renewable, use renewable energy sources, such as uh, solar, uh, solar and other renewable energy sources. Um, doing things like protecting and fortifying our coastlines, so developing or rather constructing seawalls, for example. Um, we can also retrofit our buildings. You hear a lot of talk recently about installing properly rated hurricane impactors and windows and hurricane clips. 